Jim, unanimous victory for Canelo Alvarez tonight over Edgar Berlanga. Canelo clearly was chasing the knockout. He actually got a knockdown in the third round, but he could not finish this guy. Seven years younger, five inches taller, three inch reach. All of those advantages helped Berlanga to hang in there in this fight. And his heart. Mm -hmm. uh, let's face it, the kid was outclassed, uh, out technique, craft is king in boxing. Canelo's the best fighter in the world. Uh, and Berlanga, I think, was well aware of all those circumstances going in, but he was determined to be the best he could be. Uh, and he fought with passion and commitment. Uh, I don't know how much of the crowd he won over. It felt like it was a 90% yeah. Mexican crowd. But at the end of the day, I think he won a level of respect from Canelo that is part and parcel of what makes this the great sport that it is. There, but there, during the fight, there was absolute disdain between these guys. I mean, they had push shoving matches. They had words between each other, even as late as the 11th round. Well, and, it's a fight. It's yeah. not a negotiation, yeah, yeah. you know? And it had all the elements of a fight. And I think that's what Canelo respected about it. Yeah, Canelo, I think, had the line of the night afterward where he said, I'm Mexican, right? I mean, he, <laughs> he wanted to get to this guy. He wanted to knock him out. He made it very clear that a knockout was the task of the evening. The fact that it doesn't happen against this bigger Edgar Berlanga, in your opinion, does it discourage Canelo from taking on that Dimitri Bivol fight and moving toward a Terrence Crawford? Or what do you think his next move will be knowing that he's headed to a May 2025 date? Well, I think Canelo understands this event the same way that you and I do, Lance, and he's going to look through the filter of crap. Uh, you know, who do I really have to worry about in terms of boxing skill? That's the difference between Edgar Belanga and Dimitri Bivol, for instance. You know, yeah. uh, just because you beat a bigger Edgar Belanga doesn't mean you're going to beat a bigger Dimitri Bivol. So. Uh, I think that, you know, Canelo will continue to evaluate as the businessman that he is. I think if he wants to make the most possible money, that's David Benavides. Uh, is he really scared of Benavides' punching power? Punching power is the last way in the world that you're going to beat Canelo Alvarez. He has the best chin, the best punch resistance in all of boxing. Audience wants Benavides. Uh, you know, who knows when he's going to get there, but it's hard for me to imagine him finishing this amazing, great career as the best fighter in the world without taking on the one opponent that almost everybody wants to see. Yeah, absolutely. Look, at the end of the day, at the end of the year, these two fights against 27-year-olds by Canelo Alvarez this year made for some entertaining action. Thank you so much for joining us on PPB.com, and we will see you guys next time.